Good morning, everyone. Rise and shine. Um, it is Tuesday, August 1st. This is something new that I'm doing. Uh, coffee with Brit. So grab your coffee and let's sit and chit chat a little bit. So since this is coffee with Brit, what is in your cup? I have Folgers. Folgers in your cup. With my bar. With a little bit of vanilla creamer. You gotta have vanilla creamer. No Baileys in here. I don't know how many of y'all start your morning with a little bit of Baileys in your coffee. I have had it once. It was actually very tasty, um, but I don't think I need to be starting with anything like that uh, this early in the morning. But I woke up this morning with the biggest zit on my chin. It literally gave me a like protrusion right here and I don't wear makeup, so, and I wash my face daily and I clean, so I'm not sure what's going on. It could possibly be stress, but uh, yeah, it hurts really bad. Um, so don't stare at it this whole time. <laughs> Just don't stare. It's huge. And if you laugh at somebody with a zit or a pimple, you usually uh, end up with one exactly where uh, theirs is if you laughed at it, so don't do that. So Coffee with Brit was kind of my idea to let you guys get to know me and what I do, where I live, um, some of my hobbies, my activities, my daily uh, schedule. So um, I am back in the beautiful state of Tennessee. Gotta love the Four Seasons. Um, it's been about two months since I've been home. I stay full-time in Destin during the summer because I own a fishing charter down there, Hooked Charter. So I am a charter captain for an offshore boat. And I also first mate uh, throughout my fleet on trips. And it has been such an awesome year so far. We still have a few months of fishing and we've been catching quite a bit of really cool stuff. So we'll get to talk about that here in a minute. I'm currently in Spring Hill, Tennessee, which is about 30 minutes from Nashville. I don't really go downtown much. It's kind of not my thing. So when I'm home, I like to kind of be a homebody and maybe go to the gym, do stuff around the house, work on social media. Um, I make YouTube videos constantly for the business and for myself, so I'm quite busy on the computer every day. The reason I am in Tennessee is because I have two beautiful daughters. Um, they still go to school here. They're 16 and 13, so I have custody of them every other week. So that is when I'm home here, uh, also doing mommy things and taking care of them. But Having two teenage girls can be quite the test, but we're getting through it and uh, my oldest is about to start her senior year. Boy, how I wish I could like go back and just be in school every day. No worry about bills, living on your own, working every day, but I feel like when you're a child and you're in school, you want out of school so fast, but I keep telling her, calm down, just get through your senior year, take it as it is, do not rush it. You're gonna regret it if you rush it. Um, but I'm excited for her. And my youngest is starting eighth grade, so she's got one more year of middle school and then she is off to high school but at least one will be out of school while the other one is finishing up high school. That'll be a little bit of a mental break, I would say. I don't know what it is about like being on camera and talking, but I don't know if it's like the camera shy or like the nervous jitters. I hear myself like running out of breath and I'm still camera shy. Like as much as I'm on social media, as many days as I'm taking photos or YouTube content, I still am very camera shy. Uh, I call it like, 
see, I catch myself like stuttering or really not even being able to like speak a legit full sentence. So bear with me on that. And my nose is wheezing right now. So <laughs> good morning. I mean, this is straight up. You get Brit at like completely all natural. Um, yeah. So here we are. So let's talk about hooked charter. So my fishing business in Destin, Florida is, I would say, one of the bigger fleets uh, of boats for a company. We have four fishing boats and a pontoon, which is our Crab Island excursions, which is hooked excursions. So um, we have a 42 foot yellowfin, which is our newest vessel. That boat is absolutely immaculate. Like it is such a beautiful boat. Um, I have a 36 foot yellowfin. That's the one I usually captain. Uh, we have a 26 foot yellowfin. That's a hybrid. So it does offshore and inshore uh, bay fishing. And then our bay boat, which is our 24 foot uh, yellowfin that we have as well. These boats are all wrapped in hook charters. Uh, decals they are equipped with the best and we absolutely love being able to share that with everybody if you're interested in a fishing trip or coming down to Destin and doing a Crab Island trip on a pontoon I have put uh, the business information right below so check that out uh, you can email us an inquiry straight from our website you can also call us, which I've provided that number below as well. We're pretty much open still. I mean, we've got plenty of dates available if you are making your way down to Destin. So definitely check us out. Give us a call. Get booked. Uh, come fish with me. It's a lot of fun. I'll definitely have you hooked on fishing. So uh, definitely check us out. It's kind of weird to kind of be in Destin full time for the summer and then come home to Tennessee and have absolutely really no water around where I live. Um, we do have little creeks and stuff, but that doesn't even compare to like the beach. So I definitely feel like I'm landlocked here. Um, we have a couple lakes that are in Nashville, but uh, we don't have any boats or anything there. Uh, so I kind of, you know, I definitely missed the water. I can't just say, hey, I think I'm gonna go to the beach today, which sucks, but um, there's definitely other things to do here, like hiking, which I am definitely uh, probably gonna do a YouTube video on. There are a couple trails um, close by that I can go to that have like waterfalls or just really pretty scenery. I don't know if anybody's heard of like the Natchez Trace, but that's such a beautiful place to go and just be one with nature. So hopefully one day this week, I can pick one of those places and kind of get out there and show you guys a little bit about Tennessee. So I'm definitely looking into some things that I can do for YouTube videos um, while I'm here. If you have me on YouTube uh, and you're subscribed to my YouTube, I do have other social media accounts that I am on constantly and daily. I'll plug in my social media links below in the description if you want to follow me there as well. So August, um, since I am back every other week, uh, I am going to be inviting some really awesome ladies to come fishing with me in Destin for content. September is looking super busy. I'm actually going down to the Keys to go fishing with Vicki Stark, one of my good friends and her fiance, Ryan. Um, we caught an awesome swordfish with them last time and we were literally like 12 miles from the beach, which was absolutely insane. Um, Cause he, in Destin, we have to run like 60 miles for swordfish. So that's really cool. And headed to New York again in September. I absolutely love the city. I'm excited to go back. It has been a while. Um, that's where I kind of did all my sleeve was a little bit in New York and then my art artist, um, she actually moved to a different shop and then was based out of New Jersey. So I would just Uber 19 miles uh, to her shop in Jersey. October is gonna be really busy. I have Kendall Lynn coming to Destin. 
uh, Hooked on Chels is coming, Steph Fishing is coming, um, and quite a few others. So I'm excited to, to meet all of them as well. So there's a lot in store for YouTube content coming up, so make sure you're subscribed. If you want explicit content, not explicit, oh my god. Not explicit, <laughs> exclusive content. Goodness gracious, I still need another cup of coffee. Then you can subscribe as a member here on my YouTube and you'll see things that not everybody gets to see, which would be like behind the scenes to some of the things or just, uh, I know for instance, I did a Q&A, but there's questions that were asked of me that I answered that only members got to see. So definitely check that out and subscribe if you want more content exclusive not explicit but yeah there will be more episodes to come this is just my introduction to coffee with brit hope it wasn't too boring for you um i felt like it was a little boring but i just kind of wanted to explain what coffee with brit was kind of going to be about like i said i plan to do at least one to two episodes a week so stay tuned um but definitely comment below. Let me know what you want to talk about once again. And I hope to see you back next time. So stay tuned for more. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment to this video. And have a great day.